Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about how to add the editor styles for Gutenberg and in this video we're going to talk about one of the interesting topic called block patterns. Block patterns became the part of the code in WordPress 5.5 on 11th of August this year which is just a few days back and I really love them especially for the people who are non-developers block pattern is definitely the best so you will see that in a moment so what are these block patterns well the block patterns are predefined block layouts ready to insert and tweak so let me show you that so let's say this is our so let's say this is our home page if you click on this plus icon you have this patterns option and you can see that these are the default patterns that are provided to you by WordPress I can so now you can see that you can take a look at how they look like before inserting them so these are kind of piece of block I can insert it like this so I've got buttons and then I can you know change edit the text etc make it like italic or make it edits on that change the link I can do whatever I want so basically I kind of get this layout for the pattern and then I have other patterns available uh, you can see that you have got this pattern available. I can just click on it and straight away it gets added as this block. Okay, so if you take a look at the structure, uh, this is my group block that I'm currently on with the one I have clicked and this basically contains a heading. So this is our heading, then it contains columns. So this is a column and then you have paragraphs and again you have another. So you've got two columns, uh, each having paragraphs, etc. Okay, and then I can tweet it, I can remove the text, I can put whatever text I want, like lorem ipsum, whatever I want, right? Okay, great. So, these are pretty useful for us because they're ready to use. What if I want to go ahead and add my own pattern? How do I do that? So, let's take a look. So, if I want to register my own pattern, I have a function that is provided to us by WordPress. It is called register block pattern. And if I have registered one already and if I want to remove the uh, particular block pattern, I can just call the function called unregister block pattern. What cool thing about block pattern is that like when we are creating the custom blocks, we can add them in categories. Even the core blocks are part of certain categories. In the same way for patterns, you can actually have categories. So to register the categories for the block pattern, you can call the function register block pattern category and just pass in whatever parameter it asks for and then to remove to unregister a particular block pattern category just call the unregister block pattern category okay so with that being said let's get into action and see how simple it is to create those block patterns let's find out so the first thing I want to do is I'll come to my theme so I have my theme Aquila and I'll come to my includes folder and I will create a class of course you can add this in functions also but I'm just going to create a class for myself so class and I'll name it as block patterns dot php and I'm just going to copy and paste the code from one of the other classes so it just saves my time in rewriting them so block patterns so that's the one and then let's rename this to block patterns okay and let's get rid of this these two functions I don't need them I'm gonna get rid of them and even these add actions okay and then we just need to ensure that we go ahead and uh, you know get the instance of the class so that this class is instantiated so, so I'll go inside of my Aquila theme and this is the place where I'm loading all of the classes so let's ensure we load it so this is block patterns and then get instance so we're using singleton and then this is going to include this class for us brilliant so let's take a look how do we register it so I'm gonna to go to WordPress org and I have an option to register the block pattern right so I'm going to go ahead and call this function it's better to call it with the init hook so so I'm just going to go ahead and edit it so init and register block 
patterns. So notice that this is our custom function. It is not WordPress function, this register block pattern. But uh, so let's not get confused with that. So this is inside which I'm going to call this function to register block pattern. So I'll do first I will check if this function exists. So if so for backward compatibility if function exists so this is the part of the 5.5 so for back backward compatibility I'm just going to check if this function exists if it does then I'm just going to call this function and inside of this function it takes the first parameter let's take a look so the first parameter is it takes is the uh, slug and then whatever the name of the block pattern is so I'm going to say aquila and slash the block pattern so let's say I want to create a cover block okay so I'll name it as cover okay and then a second parameter will be an array so I'll use array okay what does it take it takes the title so title which is a human readable title for the pattern so I'm going to put that and then I'm going to use the translation function so I'll just copy it from here and I'll put like Aquila cover and this is my text domain so I'll put Aquila and then it asks for description so I'm gonna put description Oops. and then again I can do a translation for this and this is Aquila cover block with image and text okay and then it asks for the content. So what is this content? So content basically is the raw HTML content for the pattern. So how do we get that? So let's first go ahead and create a block for us. So what I'm going to do is I will first comment this out and then I'm going to go ahead and add the cover block. I'm going to make sure this is full width and then I'm going to upload the one of the images which is this one so I'm going to make sure I select the heading and in the heading I want this to be an H1 so I'll do that I'll paste it and then I'll make sure I'll make it bold and I'm going to align in the center so I've got that okay and then for the next one another quote over here and I'm just going to paste it I'm going to align in the center and just probably give it a slightly gray color that'll be better I guess yeah this is better yep awesome and then we can also add a button over here so I'm going to say buttons and then I'm going to add a button and over here I'm going to go with the outline one and just add blocks so this can take the user to blocks and then I'm also going to go ahead and align it in the center like so so you've got our blocks and of course I have to change the color also it's not looking good the borders are not looking that great and let's make it gray I think this looks good so since our block is ready now all I have to do is click on these three dots click on the code editor copy it and then just paste it in the content so I'll put content and then paste it here of course you need to escape it but in my case it's already escaping it by my text editor if I just paste it like this is a string and this is your raw HTML so I'll go back visual editor and now if I go ahead and update it and I'm going to uncomment this as you already created one and then refresh and I can remove this block if you want let's take a look patterns there you go so awesome so you've got your pattern available and I can just click on it and there you go we've got a pattern available and ready to use isn't that brilliant awesome so this is like the basic way to register the patterns and in the next video we are going to dig deeper into it and understand how we're going to remove the core how we're going to actually remove the code core patterns if we want to and then also when we have lots and lots of patterns you know how do we categorize them break them into pieces and there are some other things like 
for example what if the user deletes this image how would the block look like uh, you know of course the image will be broken so how do we solve that problem so this all things will be discussed in the next video okay so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, do st give a star to my repository like this beautiful 20 people have and do follow me on uh, github and if you do like my work please do nominate me for the github stars award by going on to stars.github.com slash nominate okay so i'm gonna see you in the next video take care bye bye <music>